Have you ever struggled to find a good name for a variable? Now with the rename tool in Visual Studio, you can get context-aware suggestions using GitHub Copilot chat. In this video, I will show you how to enable this feature and how to use it effectively. Now, for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth perspective on technology, including best practices and implementation details. However, sometimes you just need a quick introduction to a topic. That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's get a quick introduction to this rename tool. Now this is in version 17.9 of Visual Studio. If you go here to help and about Visual Studio, you'll see 17.9.0 is the version I'm currently using. And yes, this is the community edition, which is free for almost every person, uh, every individual. It's not free for corporations. So with that, I've got this uh, person model that I am instantiating here with a variable P. Now, P is not the greatest of names, so let's talk about renaming that. Before we do, I wanna make sure you have this feature turned on because this comes with GitHub Copilot chat, and so you need to go to Tools, Options, and then under GitHub. So if we look under Environment, then GitHub, it's all the way down here. We have GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot Chat. And you need to check this box that says Enable Rename Suggestions. So make sure this box right here, let's, let's highlight it here. So this box right here is checked and that will enable your rename suggestions. So once you do that, then when you right click on your variable and say Rename, you have an additional feature. And again, we're gonna zoom in here and note that right down here is this icon that will allow us to use AI to generate some rename suggestions. Now, the reason this is not enabled all the time is because every time you call an AI, it incurs an expense for someone. Now, that someone may not be you. In this case, it's Microsoft. Uh, whoever's, you know, whoever runs the GitHub Copilot AI, which is Microsoft, well, they have to pay the server time for you to process these things, which is why it's not on all the time. But if you click this, it's going to take a minute and think through your, your application and give you a context aware name. So this could be called person or person data or person info or person details or person profile. And these may be perfect names for you, but they should kind of spark some, um, some ideas out of this and say, you know what? I think person profile is probably a great option. So I select that and I hit enter and now it's called person profile instead of just P. So that helps you rename your, your um, variables. And you know what? If you decide that when you do this, let's just re rename it again and let's just choose a different name this time, like uh, uh, human, human profile, yeah, uh, user profile. Okay, but maybe I don't like user profile. Maybe I want to change a little bit from there, like user profile info. Well, you can do that. You can start with the AI suggestion and then continue on with your own. Now this works for pretty much anywhere we have rename. So let's go over here to the demo class, which demo class isn't a good name because it should describe what it does. And right now we don't have a good description. In here, we have a property for ID, one for title, one for author, and one for year published. Let's see what AI thinks this demo class could be renamed to. So in here, the suggestions are book, publication, literature, written work, publication detail. So I kind of like publication, but again, with my naming convention, I'd probably call it publication model. Well, there we go. And notice it even renames the, the class file, which is really awesome. So now we have a better name based upon what AI has decided is in this class and what it should probably look like. Now, these are all guesses by AI. And of course, AI always um, is subject to some, some weird and wacky things, but this is a pretty good starting point for us to do renaming. Instead of renaming with you know, whereas in our brain, we can spark some 
initial thoughts from the AI suggestion and then go from there and choose our own name. So this is built in with GitHub Copilot. Um, so if you have that and you're going to use renaming this, this is a really neat feature built into Visual Studio now that will help you with your renaming process and hopefully help you refactor a little better. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.